Hello and welcome to the African Informant. Stay to the end of this video as we discover the beautiful city of Dar es Salaam. If you find this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The city of Dar es Salaam, also known as the Paris of Africa, is the largest city in Tanzania and East Africa at large. It is also the seventh largest city in Africa. Dar es Salaam is a very beautiful city located in the Swahili coast of the Indian Ocean. The population of Dar es Salaam is currently estimated to be around 7 million people, making it the fifth most populated city in Africa. Dar es Salaam is also known to be the most peaceful city in Africa, but this comes as no surprise because Tanzanian people are generally known to be very peaceful. Before becoming this beautiful and well-developed city you see today, Dar es Salaam developed from a small fishing village called Mzizima. The Wazaramu tribe were the natives of the Mzizima village, but Arab traders later on invaded the village and Wazaramu people were turned into laborers. In 1862, Sultan Sayyid Majid of Zanzibar founded Dar es Salaam after relocating his capital from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam. Because he needed a place to stay, the Sultan bought the land from the natives who were the Zaramos. The name Dar es Salaam is thought to have originated from the Persian Arabic term Bandar ul Salam, which means Bandari ya Salam in Swahili. Due to the fact that he found the location to be extremely safe and that he captured it without using force, he changed the name from Zizima to Dari Salam. Dari means the upper roof and Salam means safe heaven or a place where one could rest in peace. Since gaining its independence and the general peaceful environment that has been experienced in Tanzania for a long time, Dar es Salaam has undergone substantial growth and has emerged as the nation's commercial hub. Due to its significant contribution to internal government revenue and economic development, many developers were enticed to invest in Dar es Salaam. Political stability, its location, investment incentives and guarantee are all factors that make the city an investment hub. The most well-known city in Tanzania in terms of arts, fashion, media, film, television and finance is Dar es Salaam. It serves as the administrative center for five districts, Kinondoni in the north, Ilala in the center, Ubungo and Temeke in the south, and Kigamboni in the east across the Kurasini estuary. Dar es Salaam is one of Tanzania's 31st administrative centers. Dar es Salaam is building one of the best metro systems in Africa. Dar es Salaam Bus Transit, or Mwendokasi in Kiswahili, is a metro bus system that the government has been implementing in the city of Dar es Salaam. UDART, a joint venture between the government and Usafiri Dar es Salaam, is in charge of managing the metro buses. UDART has finished phase one of the bus rapid transit system, which went into operation on May 10, 2016. The first bus stretches from Kivukoni on the harbour's northern tip to Kimara in the northwest. The World Bank, African Development Bank and Tanzanian government jointly sponsored phase one. The Dar es Salaam port is the busiest port in Tanzania, handling 90% of the nation's cargo. It is situated southeast of the city's main commercial sector in Temeke district, Kurasini administrative ward. While in Dar es Salaam, a place you should consider visiting is the Kivukoni Fish Market. The Kivukoni Fish Market is the place where you will find all the fish delicacies and other seafoods. It is known for its low prices of fish and seafood. The place is always crowded as many people both locally and internationally gather there to experience what's being offered by the Kivukoni Fish Market. You can find both cooked and raw seafood or fish depending on your preference. Dar es Salaam is also home to the famous Coco Beach. The Coco Beach is a beautiful sandy beach that stretches on the Msasani Peninsula and is well liked by the locals. 
found on the shores of the Indian Ocean, the Coco Beach is the best place for swimming, sunbathing, surfing and hanging out while enjoying the fantastic view of the ocean. A lot of local runners frequent Coco Beach and they can be spotted there in greater numbers in the evening. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.